What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to After News Delight. But, uh, you know, we got uh, Gunther, Gunther, I mean, I said Gunther. I was thinking of Francis Gunther. Uh, Gunther, uh, Drew McIntyre, and Sheamus for the Intercontinental title. Um, triple threat match here, and it, it delivered like the way you thought it was going to deliver. A very physical match. Um, hard hitting stuff. Uh, stiff. A lot of stiff stuff here. Um, and, and these three put out a pretty good match, man. Put out a pretty good match. Let's go towards the end and see how this wrapped up. McIntyre brought Sheamus back to the ring and uh, did his uh, little countdown thing that he does. McIntyre went for a Claymore kick, but Sheamus beat him with a bro kick and uh, and covered him for the best near fall thus far of the match. And then when both men stood up, McIntyre hit Sheamus with a Glasgow kick and ended up putting him down with a Claymore kick. McIntyre covered Sheamus for another awesome near fall. McIntyre and Sheamus showed their punches while they were on their knees and they continued as they got to their feet. They battered one another with clotheslines, but neither man went down. McIntyre closed, closed on Sheamus, who bounced off the ropes and hit a bro kick. Um... And Sheamus was slow to cover McIntyre. And Gunther left from the top rope to break up the pin. That was uh, some great athleticism from Gunther right there. there. And Gunther power bombed both men and pinned McIntyre. So uh, this match went almost about 17 minutes. And it was a very good match. One of the best matches of the weekend for sure. Um, and, uh, you know, th th this, was, this was an incredible display of violence, bro. This is... You know, I think that this match definitely had a WrestleMania feel to it. And these dudes, you know, they got really good chemistry, man. Like, they always put on a pretty good match. It was definitely to be expected. Let's see how this poll went because I asked y'all who was going to win the match. 490 votes, 25 likes. And most of y'all chose Drew McIntyre, man, 58%. Uh, I'm going to talk about him in a second. And Guter, 27%. Sheamus, uh, 16 I really thought Sheamus was going to win this match, to be honest with you. I thought, it, I thought the title was going to change hands. They obviously got different plans for how long they're going to have Gunther holding this title. Um, I don't know when Gunther's going to lose it now. Like, I really don't know now. Because I was like, I was really convinced that Sheamus was going to win this. Um, but he's not. So, we'll see how long Gunther and what his next challenger will be. I do want to see... I want to see uh, Tez... Uh, Montez Ford go against him at some point. Um, what I would do is, man, I would have Solo Sokoa win the Intercontinental against. I, I would choose Solo to be the one to beat him. I will. I, I will. That will be the guy that I would choose to beat him, man. Um, but as far as Drew McIntyre goes, rumors have been abound that he's going to leave. I'm not so sure about that just yet, but there are rumors that his contract, I think his contract is up or something. So a lot of people are saying they think he's going to leave. We'll see what happens with Drew, um, if he leaves or not. Um, him getting the pin does say a lot, though. So we'll see what happens, though, man. Um, give me your thoughts, man. Hit that like button on the way on your way out of here. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, man. Thank y'all for watching. After news, delight.